Chris Mannix for SI.com here with Hall of Fame trainer Freddie Roach. He'll be training Manny Pacquiao to go up against Chris Algieri in November. Uh, Freddie, this is your second go-around training a fighter to fight Chris Algieri. Previously, obviously, trained Ruslan Provodnikov uh, in his loss. What did you take away from that fight? Well, you know, he's got a really good left hand. He's, um, I, I think he's actually left-handed, at least with his power hand. His right hand's not so well, but he's got a good jab and a good hook. And, uh, you know, Ruslan was looking for the one-punch knockout. He almost got it early in the fight. Uh, Manny's not that type of fighter. Manny's going to outbox this guy and use his speed. It's a whole different style of fighting, so uh, I'm really not, I'm not too worried about him. When they brought the name Algieri to you as a potential Pacquiao opponent, what was your first reaction? Yeah, why are we going to fight this runner, you know? I said, you know, the guy's going to run all night long. Um, you know, Manny knows how to cut the ring off and set, set traps and catch him in the corners and so forth. But I'd rather fight Danny Garcia, I said, because he's a better opponent. He comes to you, he wants to fight. He goes for the fences, and I think it would be a better fight. And his dad talks a lot of, a lot of smack. <laughs> I didn't know what to make of Manny in the Rios fight after getting knocked out by Marquez. Rios just kind of... I mean, he kind of just stood there. He took a lot of punishment. And you didn't really know after that fight if Manny was all the way back. He beats Tim Bradley, looked a lot sharper, I think. And you could learn more, I guess, uh, from that win. What did you learn and what did you take away from that win over Bradley? Bradley, you know, the, the, it was a good win because, you know, Bradley's a tough, tough guy. You know, the thing is, uh, he, can bo he can box his ass off, but he gets hit and tends to like to fight a little bit too much. And the thing is, uh, but Manny handled him real easy. And, uh, you know, he, he uh, cleared the air like the, the first one was just a fluke. And yeah, I th maybe think he won the first one bigger than the second one. But uh, it was a good fight for Manny against, you know, a guy who goes the distance with everybody, doesn't get knocked out too many times in his life. Did you think he, after that win that he's as close to being back as he's going to get? Yeah, for sure. And the thing is, we had a really good training camp for that one. It worked really well. We're back at the wild card, and we had the new gym and so forth. Everything was kind of fresh and new. It worked out really well. You're one of the busiest guys in boxing with your schedule. It's absolutely insane. But looking into ahead to next year, I've got to ask you the question. Bob Aram has been talking about, hey, let's have Floyd and Manny fight twice in 2015. From your perspective, do you hold out any hope that that fight's going to happen? Well, Bob says the uh, TV stations are talking to each other and so forth, and I talk to some of the TV guys and they tell me that's not true. <laughs> I'm not sure if he's just bullshitting or what. But uh, I do want that fight to happen before the end of the career. We've been waiting three years already, you know. We've done everything possible. So um, if he doesn't want to fight, he doesn't want to fight. We, uh, we can't force him, and the thing is, we're not going to sit around and wait for him, that's for sure. I mean, I think he's shot. I think his legs are gone. I think Manny knocks him out. And I think he knows that, and that's why he won't fight us.